Hello, I'm Scott Borders, and this is another episode of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we find ourselves in Sadieville, Kentucky, at the historic Rosenwald School. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you all about it. From 1906 until 1932, 4,977 Rosenwald schools, 163 shop buildings, and 217 teachers' homes were built in 883 counties in 15 southern states for the education of African American children in the South in the early 1900s. The project was the brainchild of Julius Rosenwald, who became the part owner and president of Sears Roebuck and Company and the African American leader Booker T. Washington. Typically, public education for African American children in the South was severely underfunded as they were required to attend racially segregated schools. Rosenwald founded the Rosenwald Fund, which over the years donated over $70 million to museums, schools, colleges, universities, black institutions, and charities before funds were exhausted in 1948. As Rosenwald and Washington teamed up, their fund led to the construction of almost 5,000 schools for black children in the 11 states of the former Confederacy, as well as Oklahoma, Missouri, Kentucky, and Maryland. As a result, approximately 500,000 African American children were educated in these schools. The Rosenwald Fund required communities receiving his seed money to commit public funds and labor to the schools being built. White school boards were required to operate and maintain the schools. In addition, millions of dollars were raised by African American rural communities across the South to fund better education for their children. 158 Rosenwald schools were built in Kentucky between 1917 and 1920 with this particular school being built in 1917 at a cost of $2,500. Only a handful of these schools still exist in Kentucky. Thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard from historic Sadieville, Kentucky in the Rosenwald School. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. <music>